Thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate you. What are we going to do now? She's gone. I'm selling the house. And you're going to get the fuck out. Oh, Mom. Now, girls, we are family. And I don't care what anybody outside of these four walls have to say about it. And that's that. Billy, Gracie Lynn is your sister. I'm your mama and hers too. But mama, you want me to walk around like this is okay? She is not my sister. And, and nothing. What I say goes in this house that I pay for. And Gracie Lynn is your sister. Gracie Lynn, I know all of this is hard on you on account of the way the Lord saw fit to bring you into my home. But you're here now and I'm going to take care of you from here on out. Is it because my mama went to jail? Yes, baby. And because I ain't got no other family? Yes, baby. Can I call you mama? No! Billy! Yes, baby. If you want to, you can call me mama. We smoked a lot of weed back here. You touched my boob for the first time back here. Oh man, I remember that. What was that? Uh, 10th grade? Mm, ninth. You were a smooth talker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Billy. I know. You know, I don't think she ever forgave me for our divorce. I think she loved you more than she loved me. Gracie Lynn says you're selling the house. So that's why you're out here. I should have known. Are you kidding me right now? You know damn well I'm out here because of you. I know. Don't do this. Do what? Sell the house. You know your mom wouldn't want this. Yeah, well, she's dead, okay? So she doesn't get a vote. Can you at least talk to Gracie Lynn? I mean, she's hurting right now just as much as you are. And she needs her sister. I hate her. No, you don't. You hate that you had to share a mother. You hate the secret you had to hold on to and the lies you helped perpetuate. You hate that you had to be the strong one, but you don't hate Gracie Lynn. Jeez. You sound like Dr. Blackman. <laughs> That's because I've been seeing her. Yeah. So I guess you want our marriage counselor and the divorce too, huh? I just needed to figure out all my shit, you know. Why we, why I... Fuck somebody else. That and, and the other stuff too. You should go to one of the sessions. I mean, I just think... I just think right now it could be really helpful after all that, everything that's happening right now. I mean, she does individual and family counseling too. Yeah, well, we're not married anymore, Adam. You know, there's one thing that I've never forgiven you for. What? For telling your mom that I touched your boob that day. <laughs> oh my God. That was when she... she... She sat us down to have a sex talk. <laughs> and I went from touching my first pair of titties for the day to <laughs> learning the different medical terms of the areas of a woman's vagina. <laughs> Good God. I haven't thought about that day in years. Wow. You did not touch my boobs again for at least a good six months. I was terrified. What else I have to learn next? A vasectomy or something, you know? <laughs> God. Was I really that hard to love? What? Was I really that hard to love?
Billy, I've loved you since I was 14 years old. Loving you has been the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. I just, I started to feel like I wasn't the man you needed me to be. I, when you pushed me away, I, I let you and I should have fought for you. I should have fought for us. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry too. I'm sorry that I pushed you away and, and that I didn't fight harder for us too. Then talk to Gracie Land. Tell her the truth. Look, tell her everything she needs to know and, and get this, this secret off of you. I mean, look, your mom did what she thought was right at the time. She, she was just trying to protect the both of you. I know you've been through a lot and I just wish I could have been there for you. I'm sorry. Well, um, well, you didn't say go fuck yourself, so that's the start. <laughs> Come on. I think everybody should be out of the house by now. Let's go outside. Once the food ran out, so did everyone else. Here, uh, Chris, I'll take that. I'll uh, bring this up to the trash. Uh, I uh, put most of the food in the freezer. What could fit anyway? The rest is in containers if you want anything. I'm not letting you sell the house, Bill. Mama told me she was leaving it to the both of us. I will say what is done with my mother's house. This house is just as much mine as it is yours. And she left it to the both of us. I'm not gonna let you throw it away. Throw it away? Oh, honey, I'm not throwing a damn thing away but you. I'm a part of this family, too. You? You are the daughter of a crackhead my mom felt sorry for. It. That is who you are. I really don't. No, okay? I am sick of this bullshit. It's about goddamn time she learns the truth. Truth? Yeah. What the hell do you know about the truth? I stayed here and took care of mama every damn day, not you. How about that truth? Huh? It is not my fault you got fired. Oh my God. Unlike you, I had to work, Gracie Lynn. I couldn't be here with her all day, but I was here every fucking night after work. So don't act all holier than now. That does not entitle you to this house. You know what, Billy? It was one drink. It's not like working at the Stop and Save is performing open heart surgery. I'm not, I'm not doing this. Obviously not. Got fired anyway. Billy, don't do it this way. You know what, Adam? You lost all rights to an opinion on anything I do the day you started fucking what's her name. All right, Billy, I fucked up, okay? And I'll say sorry every day if I have to, but I mean, damn, I mean, let me fix this. I don't need you to fix anything. Then what do you want? What, what do you want? I wanted you to just... I wanted you to just love me. I do love you. No, Adam. You love the me that you want me to be, and I need you to love the me that I am right now in this moment. Right now, I am broken. I am not strong, and God damn it, I don't want to have to be. My mother is dead. I need to be able to yell, cry, fucking scream if I need to, and I just need you to let me. She is gone. I am never going to hear her voice again. We are never going to stay up all night baking sweet potato pies and arguing over the amount of cheese I put in her mac and cheese for Thanksgiving. I am never going to hear her laugh again. She is gone, Adam. My mother is gone and I am lost without her. I am angry and it's not something that I need you to fix. You cannot fix this. Okay. Okay, Billy. you have
have to talk to her. I know. I know I have to tell her. You want me to stay? No, no. Thanks. Right. Hey, she was right. You put way too much cheese in the, the mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I'll call you later on, okay? Okay. Check on. Bye, Billy. Bye. Where the hell is it? Hello? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. Where is it? See, right here, here it is. Mama put my name on this house too and I am not gonna let you kick me out of it. I loved her too, Billy. Okay. Fine. What the hell are you doing now? Oh, you want to live here? Fine. But you will not keep my mother's things. Okay, stop. Stop. You can't just keep everything. Get stop the it. fuck out of my way, Gracie Lynn. I mean it! Okay, fine, Billy. Fine. You win, all right? You fucking win. You want all of this shit? Yes. Great. Take it. Gracie Lynn, take stop all it. of it. Right, right. now. Gracie Lynn, give right. me that box. Oh, give me that box right now. Right yes. Here. Great. Take it. What are those? Please, Gracie Lynn, don't. Gracie. Oh my god. These are letters from my mother. Why would she keep these from me? Why are you trying to keep these from me? You are such a selfish bitch! She wasn't trying to keep them from you. This doesn't make any sense. My mother wrote me letters from jail every month. I, how could she have gotten all of these? And why are you trying to hide them from me? Why can't you ever stop, Billy? I just... No, I, you know what? Fuck you, Billy! I have had to live with the fact that my birth mother chose drugs over me my entire life. And you got to have the perfect mom. And just because she chose to love me too, you have been jealous and hated me since we were kids. Well, guess what, Billy? I hate you, too. How could you do this? Gracie, look at the dates on the letters. What? Look at the dates. How is this possible? These letters are all marked with dates that haven't even happened yet. This is for a month from now. This is Christmas of next year. Billy? so weird. I don't know. Can I play with you? Fine. But if you break anything, I'll kick your butt. Hi. I'm Billy. Hi. I'm Yeti the Unicorn. Want to be friends? Gracie Lynn, come on in here, baby. Coming, Mama. Hey, me. It's from your mom. Oh my god, really? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what did it say? She said she misses me. <laughs> and and that she loves me. That's how you do. I gotta go show Billy. Is your mom coming back to get you? 
No, but she said that she misses me and that she loves me. Oh. Goodbye. You were so sad. And she just wanted you to feel loved. So she started writing you letters and addressing them from your mom. I didn't even know until a few years ago. And when she got sick, she started writing you a letter every single day. So that when she... So that I can keep mailing you letters, you know. After. And my mom? Was she ever in jail? Yes, but after she signed over parental rights, Mama never heard from her again. I never hated you. I just didn't know how to handle all of this. My dad dies, and it's just me and Mama, and then you come along, and... <laughs> and now she's gone. And I still don't know what to do. <laughs> Here. These are yours. for the flowers. Well, it looks like you're here. Hold on one second. Oh, hi. I did not think you were going to come. Well, now that you're both here, should we get started? Well, Dr. Blackman, this is my sister, Gracie Lynn. 